Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, Mini here again. Uh, the purpose for doing this video is that I I want to highlight a problem that seems to be be affecting uh, athletes. I don't know if uh, it happens in the other areas of sports, but I can see it happening. I see it happening in swimming, and uh, I want to theref therefore uh, talk about it in this video here. So let me start by saying that uh, last year, last year my son, along with a few other athletes, they uh, were selected to represent Guyana in the Good World Games, but nothing ever came true. What I mean is that the people who were uh, supposed to ensure that all arrangements were put in place for them to travel, they did not do that. They did not do any of it and it, they, they waited until the last moment and the, the athletes could not have traveled uh, to represent Guyana. Uh, I believe it was held in uh, Trinidad and Tobago, if I recall correctly. And uh, that is really a terrible uh, disadvantage to athletes that have trained and had, and had uh, worked uh, really hard uh, to, you know, represent their country and so on. They, 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 they get motivated by things that they have to uh, look forward to, events, swimming events, whether locally or abroad. Now, again, my son, along with some other athletes, again, this year, they were selected. Uh, so my son was, uh, I'm going to use my son as an, as an example. So he was selected to represent Guyana for Carifta. Carifta and, um, and he did not, uh, we did not send him to Carifta. The reason being is that we wanted him to, to attend a lower level uh, sport like Goodwill, event like Goodwill, so that we can know his, uh, you know, his 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 uh, strength against other athletes at, at a lower level than you go to represent Guyana and then you can bring home a medal because you, you kind of calculate that he can he can bring home a medal for Guyana uh, from you know the good the Goodwill Games. So he did not go along with a few other athletes again. They did not go to Crift who were selected. Well, he was one of them. I'm not sure about other um, athletes, but he, he was selected to represent Guyana at the Carifta Games and, he, and we did not let him go. We wanted him to get more exposure uh, like in Goodwill Games. Now, here now, he is, uh, the, the Goodwill Games will be held in um, Jamaica. Uh, I, it, it's in Jamaica somewhere around the 20th, 22nd, somewhere around there. And what happened is that to date, the authorities that are supposed to ensure that everything you know by now we would have uh, the parents and the athletes they would have had a, a, a confirmation or be sure that whether they're going on this trip or this they, this standing they should have been you know know that they, they should have already know this standing uh, you know in in terms of how they're going to you know arrangements uh, about going to Jamaica and all that. To date, Gasa, the Ministry of Sports parent, has written to the Ministry of Sports. Uh, I am not aware of any feedback from Gasa or or anyone regarding regarding the status of these athletes to travel to Jamaica. And it's really, really hurtful for the athletes because let's say, especially for the senior athletes, I can understand that the junior one, they, they now would have, uh, you know, they have a long way to go. But I'm talking here for several years because of COVID pandemic, uh, my son, along with many other athletes, weren't able to had any regional exposure because of the COVID pandemic. And here is it now, last year, they they did not uh, get to go because of the of what appears to be uh, some efficiency. Maybe it's an inefficiency or lackadaisical attitude of some people to actually do their job and ensure that Guyanese athletes represent Guyana abroad as they are supposed to. Okay, now, m now here again, m my kids along with the others are left hanging. And my son, like I said, is a senior athlete. So he was selected for Carifta. He didn't go. He chose the option to represent Guyana at Goodwill. And now here is it. Uh, my, I'm a parent and I, along with other parents, we're waiting 
and there is no feedback from Gaza or whoever it is. There is no feedback. Look, Guyana have oil money. Guyana can send Guyana, Guyanese import artists from abroad to keep shows or whatever it is. Once a year, you mean to tell me, oh, it's just several events, we cannot afford to send our athletes abroad? This is the most ridiculous thing. And let me add something else and, 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 and that can show you it appears that the goals of some of the ministries are undermining are being undermined by the performance of some let's let's let me use an example of of, of the recent announcement made by the ministry of Ed education where they want uh, every student to do sport Yes, you want every student to do sport, but what are you encouraging or what are you what are you gonna reward them with? Because the sacrifice that parents and athletes are making to do sports, let me tell you, it is not easy. The amount I have personally sacrificed so many things, my, my uh, building a career, my education, and everything else. I've made so much sacrifice to to ensure my son go to swimming, swimming is not something you go and kick two ball uh, the street. You have to get a pool. You gotta you gotta be consistent and 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 all these things. I plus you have to get gears. Many parents make these kind of sacrifices. Kids make these sacrifices with the with the with the with the idea that they're gonna get something in return, whether to get a scholarship, whether to represent their country, or something of that sort. Now, the Ministry of Education made this announcement that kids will be doing sports and, and, and learn a next language. Those are the, the new things for all uh, students. Now, here is it. I don't understand what is it or why is it that, that here is it, the, the, the students, that are swimming are hanging like this as to the position of whether they will be going to Jamaica or not. My son goes to Queen's College. My son goes to Queen's College. Someone told me he is like the model of what they want Guyanese children to be. Educated and smart and do a sport and discipline okay we, our kids are not perfect my kid is not perfect okay he don't like to do household chores you can't get him to sweep a pool, sweep the yard or, or something like that no kids are nobody's but when it comes to other things he put he, he he push in the work you know uh he there is a little bit of time he took he will take some detour like like all the kids were humans he will take a little deep detour his coach will bring him back in line i will bring him back in line or some other coach from the next team who's going to bring him back in line and stuff like that but that is the thing we have to support our athletes we have to to encourage them and entice them into sports and education we can't have our athletes in this country here um make it make a team and they are not being sent to represent their country this is unfair this is the second time guyana is this going to be the second time a guy is not going to send anybody to the Goodwill Games? Then I, I really don't know. But it is time the Ministry of Education and the, the Ministry of Sport start to look into these things because it's not fair for students to take part in sports and are not being adequately represented by the same system that, that they that are there to ensure that their needs or meth. This is not money coming out from anybody's personal pocket. You know, we or athletes in this country are not supposed to, 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 to suffer like this. We are not, we as parents, we are not supposed to go through this kind of, of disregard or, or this kind of thing. So the, so the, the, the Guyana Amateur Swimming Association, GASA, they are responsible uh, uh, for this kind of, of thing. I don't know what are the communications. I don't know anything. But to date, the parents and the athletes don't know anything as to the status of whether they are going to go to Jamaica or what is it. Parents don't like to be hanging and kids don't like because people want to know what they're going to do with their holiday. They don't want to go in the book. They do something and then something happened. You have to also carry your body because sometimes you go on a camping trip or you do something and then you get a strain muscle and you can't go and rep represent. So these are things that you have to be uh, proactive about. 
all these things come into play you just can't you can't go hang out and do certain things with your friend or you can because if you get an arm arm strain or something you can't swim because of the flexibility or, or, or something like that that is required it is not like cricket where somebody is going to go and replace you to run okay let me make that very clear somebody can replace you to swim in a sense of your 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 your, your swimming part that doesn't work in cricket you can get a runner in, in cricket you can get a runner it doesn't work that way in, in in swimming so i will greatly appreciate that the ministry of uh, culture youth and sports that they look into these matters gasa and all the other uh people the technical com committee and whoever is responsible that they ensure that the swimmers get to jamaica don't let guyana for the second time not participate in the in 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 the goodwill games that is embarrassing and it is unfair because you can't you can't let them miss the lower level of events and then you want to send them to the olympic they need to climb like i said they need to climb so my son we didn't send him to Garifta despite he was qualified to, to go to Garifta. I, I didn't send him because i i I don't think that he was really ready so I wanted him to go to Goodwill and with advice of his coach and everything else so I would greatly appreciate that the authorities take into consideration the hard work of the athletes the parents and everybody who put um, their 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 work into making uh, making the children of this country uh, better people and uh, especially since the ministry of education want the the youths to do sports and they have to encourage them so i am looking forward to this matter being addressed uh early like like i said it is in in august in the 20th i think it is um i stand corrected i can't remember the big time but i think it's the 20th i would greatly appreciate that this be addressed so the athletes athletes know their standing and the parents know their standing and the coach it is not fair for the for the youth of this country to have to be left hung up and that they, they don't represent for the second consecutive year represent guyana at the goodwill games abroad regionally uh so this is what i wanted to uh, bring to the table and talk about because it's really sad it's a really sad um uh, situation also businesses should come forward and start sponsoring athletes i find that in swimming we swimming people they do not get sponsors let me tell you that swimmers do not i have known personally i've never seen any any water company or 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 um food place or beverage place uh, they sponsor any swimmer or or anything like 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 that um that seems to be a problem with 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 swimming i don't know why that is so so i will greatly appreciate if the if the ministry of uh, sports and the, the gasa and all the, the people who um responsible for this ensure that the youths who are going to represent Guyana Goodwill Games really get that chance to represent Guyana. That is all I wanted to, to talk about um, this afternoon. Excuse the background music and the noise. It's it's always like that here in Guyana, noisy or something. Uh, if you like my video, uh, please share it. And uh, thank you for subscribing. And uh, see you all next time. Bye.